What it do, family? What it motherfucking do? We about to do another general zodiac sign reading. Aries through Pisces, or just a general message. Eleven on my timer. If you're not even looking for no zodiac, um, I got good news. Y'all got good news. We are definitely about to tune into these personal readings. If you want to book me, you can go ahead and go to Majestic Quinn. 444 at gmail.com and get your personal reading. Details are definitely will be in my description box if you want to get in tune with that. 33 on the time. I know all my people have been waiting for this on the edge of your seat. It's here, baby. It's here. I am your host, Majestic Quinn. 444 for all my newcomers. 44 on the timer. Welcome, welcome. Come in to this beautiful energy that we have over here. Come in, loves. Come in. We're just about to get a general message for you today. Five, five. Welcome in. Welcome in. You are more than welcome to also check out my description box for astrochart.com for your own personal birth chart. I will not ask you to send me birth, uh, birth charts or I do not advise that you send birth charts to anyone else. 111 on a timer. I ask right now that you allow me in your energy by staying in this reading, this message, on this video. Alright, let's get in tune. So, I'm here. Somebody got a message. One, two, three on the timer. Someone want to send you some type of text message. Somebody want to call you. Somebody want to see you face to face. They tired of the cancellations. They tired of not seeing your beautiful or handsome face. Is what I just heard. So, we're going to get some. This is our message deck. Male or female. Somebody's definitely trying to figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. So, let's see what they're going to say. Let's see what they're about to say. Somebody said, it's so hard to stay mad at you. It's so hard to stay mad at you. You could have just got into some type of, um, I'm hearing debacle. <laughs> debacle. Jeremy, Jenny, Jessica, Jayanna is what I just heard. Um, it's so hard for me to stay mad at you. Dogs could be significant. Somebody got puppy dog eyes. Ooh, 211. It could be a kid as well. Take a resonate. That's what some not all. Could be a family member. Samia, Samaya, Tanisha could be significant. Tiana is what I just heard. Somebody is leaving them for you. Mm? Somebody about to get left. You or somebody is about to get left behind. Because they can't stay mad at this person or they can't stay mad at you. Hmm, take what resonates. If they can't stay mad at this person, they're about to leave you collective and you might be in a third party situation. If you don't know, you know now. My apologies. Sorry, but I'm so not sorry. All right, but somebody here, that's not funny, but somebody is here about to get left. Yeah, somebody's done with work and they want to meet up with you. They about to call you, text you, email you, something of that sort. They want to meet up. Josefina, Jose, Gabrielle, Jose. Somebody might be drinking on Jose Cuevo when, when y'all do meet up. I'm here on the rock. Somebody could want to meet up at a bar. It's so hard for me to stay mad at you. What's that? What's that, sir? It's so hard for me to stay mad at you because things got messy. Things was way too messy, so maybe somebody, you know, tried to be mad at you, but it didn't last long. 33 on the timer. They tried to be mad at you, but it didn't last very long, is what I just heard. Even though sometimes your situation could be messy, the name Sophia could be significant as well. Um, you could be definitely um, Hispanic descent, um, is what I'm hearing. All right, I'm leaving them for you. Let's see what's going on with that. You, because you left an impression on this person's heart. They can't be with nobody else but you. I'm definitely hearing somebody saying um, they can't get it up without you. Is what I heard. Tessa. Tess. Teresa. You left an impression on my heart. And they about to leave this person for you. They can't just they can't just up and leave you like like they want to. 420. They could be a smoker. Y'all could smoke together. I mean, I'm sitting here. This person saying I'm done with work. Let's meet up. They might want to smoke with you. I'm here stargazing as well. They might want to go to the lakefront or something like that, is what I just heard. But I'm done with work. Let's meet up. Let's see what that is. Our relationship was so darn complex. They want to meet up and talk. So y'all could work out y'all differences. 4-4 four, four on my timer. They would like to work out y'all differences is what I'm hearing at this time. This person could be into math. I'm hearing somebody is a math um, mutician. 
I'm here beautician. I'm also here this person. Somebody could be um a summer teacher or summer school teacher. Hmm. I'm here. Somebody was mad because they were jealous of something or someone, and now they have admitted to this person that they're jealous. Five eleven, and now this person is like, I can't be mad at you. Yeah. Somebody want to say I use somebody. Somebody the color green. Matthew Matt Kurt. The color green. I'm hearing our heart chakra. Somebody's heart chakra is closed. Heart chakra. I'm hearing it's closed. This is why somebody did this. Somebody did something to you, collective, or you did something to someone. Somebody here used somebody, and they already had somebody, but they really wanted to be somewhere else, but they were too busy being mad at them. So they kind of used this person that's laying in the bed, but they really thinking about the person that they mad at. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. 555, five, five, I mean, something changed. This person decided to call you and tell you, like, you know, I was, I'm actually jealous of you and this person. You know, I want you. You mine type of energy is what I'm hearing. Like, yeah, I'm hearing you mine. You mine. We need to talk, but not through text. Like I said, they don't want to text you. They don't want to text you in the bottom of the deck. They don't want strings attached. They don't want strings attached is what I heard. I don't want no strings attached. No strings attached. We're supposed to be together. I don't, we need to talk, but not through text. Like I said, they don't want no strings attached to this other person, but they definitely love you, is what I heard. Yeah, you were supposed to choose me. What the, what the fuck did I just say? Excuse my language, but you were supposed to choose them, collective. Or if this is not love, because not everybody's looking for a love message, but... Maybe this is a job opportunity that they felt like you wasn't the right fit, so they didn't they didn't interview you correctly, or maybe you bombed the interview and still got the job, and it's you're not the person that they actually looking for, so they might be letting you go soon from this job. I'm also hearing somebody's work ethic is not what they thought it was gonna be. I mean, somebody focuses on the wrong thing. During work, somebody kind of spaces out as well during work. Somebody kind of need a lot of attention as well. I'm also hearing somebody could be um, not a, somebody is not a self starter, and this op this opportunity, this job company, they need a self starter. They don't need someone come in and work like, what should I do? They need someone to already know what they should do or go find something to do. Is what I heard. But take what resonates for you. Somebody here was being selfish. Somebody's going to admit that they were being selfish. The name Jamal, Jamie, Jeremy could be significant. I was being selfish. You were you were not my priority. Somebody's going to admit, yeah, you wasn't my priority. I wrote you a text, but I didn't send it. Somebody, they wrote you a text. They wrote you a text. Look, and they they like, man, why can't I just, just press the send button? 808 could be significant. August 8th could be significant. But yes, look at this, guys. Look at this. Please answer me. Please answer me. They want to talk to you. Please answer me. I have to talk to you. I wrote you some texts, but I didn't send them. They don't know. Look, they're looking for signal. Oh, Lord. You left this person broke or broken. I'm hearing broken. Green is the heart chakra. Because somebody spent way too much time waiting on you or you spend way too much time waiting on somebody i'm also hearing somebody this is work or something somebody spent way too much time asking or asking people what they should do or they just sat around and did nothing until somebody said hey you need to get to work yeah i couldn't be the person you wanted me to be i couldn't be the person you wanted me to be i'm also hearing somebody saying i would rather cut cut grass with scissors before i waste my time my energy, my love, letting you go was painful though, but they had to go because y'all was holding each other back. But you will always have this person heart. You will always have this person heart. I'm also hearing you, they will drop everything and run if you told them come back. Oh, if you told them come back, they're going to drop everything and come to you. They're going to do right this time too when they do. Look, I'm sorry for all the times that I canceled. They're going to do right by you. Yep, you deserve to be treated better. Lavender could be significant. I'm not saying somebody want to run you a bubble bath with fruits in it, is what I just heard. I'm hearing Pineapple Express. Hmm, Pineapple Express. Y'all could have watched that movie together. 
Okay, all right, collective, all right, all right. So let's, um, I want to clarify with the tarot with this. What's going on? What's going on with my collective? What's going on with the collective? Things was messy. Things was messy and they not, they not sure how to stay mad at you, even though it was messy. What's this about? What's this about for the collective? General message. Yeah, because somebody was lying, cheating, stealing, being very sneaky. A lot of betrayal is what I said in the beginning. Some betrayal could have been an Aquarius energy. Aquarius here. Betrayal. Somebody here also was trying to get away with something. Very deceptive energy. Very trickery. Trick, trickery. I'm also here. Fuckery. Yeah, somebody is trying to regain after losing control. Maybe somebody went off on you and they wasn't supposed to. Maybe the way they approached you was the wrong way to approach you. I'm also sitting here and somebody felt like um, they they had way to, you had too many secrets. But I'm hearing you, you, you only held back because you felt this energy. You felt this energy collective and it was not right. It was not the right energy for you to be in 1111. Now this person is wishing upon a star to have your energy back because you have stepped away from this individual is what I heard. It could be a um, King of Pentacles energy as well. A King of Pentacles energy. Leo, Virgo. This person is actually very wealthy, a business leader. Um, I'm not saying if this is not the person, this is your energy. And they are the seven of swords and you're about to receive some type of justice real soon. Real soon with regarding somebody lying, cheating, stealing, betraying you. Um, acting all um, sneaky and strategic is what I'm hearing. I keep hearing fuckery, fuckery. Is somebody about to fuck around and find out? This king of pentacles is about to get some type of justice. Leo, Virgo, um, Libra energy. Again, signs. Don't get so caught up on the signs. It's all about the message. And truthfully, it's not about how you received the message. It's only about did you get the message? Did you interpret it correctly? Did you receive it? 12, 12 of my timer. Did you get the message? Somebody's about to receive something fair and just for them. Maybe the truth about a situation. Maybe somebody comes clean. Like I said, like somebody's going to tell you, hey, I just used you to get back at my ex type of energy. That's what I'm feeling what this is. Somebody got used to get back with their ex. Once their ex realized that they moved on, quote unquote, they wanted them back. And when the ex said come home, this person had to explain to the person that they used, I just used you. That's what I just heard. Yep. And then and then for some reason the King of Pentacles just flipped upside down. Hmm. This person was very greedy. They indulged way too much. Indulged in too much. They were I'm here, they went through some type of material loss. They were very stubborn. They were obsessed with wealth and status, financial, I'm hearing input. They wanted it all and wanted to leave you with nothing. And you're about to receive your justice. Is what I'm hearing. Justice, something about to be made fair for you because you went through some type of challenging situation. You had sleepless nights. This person gave you sleepless nights because they were too busy focused on your financial status. 7-Eleven could be significant as well is what I'm hearing. Somebody was too focused on uh, when when I'm going to receive my paycheck. 1333, I just heard as well. When I'm going to receive my paycheck and they just started working like today type of energy um maybe yeah july 11 somebody could have literally just started july 11 and already asking about their paycheck and it's only july 15th take what resonates or they could have started on the 13th um take what resonates for you this person could be the age of 49 is what i heard too somebody could like the 49ers libra energy leo energy uh capricorn energy as well as aquarius energy take what resonates all right, let's see. Somebody here, you left an impression on their heart, but your relationship was very complicated, is what I heard, and complex. Your relationship was complex. And I'm hearing they don't work, then they trying to meet up, though. Let's see what that was. I'm definitely, I just definitely seen 14, 20. So somebody could be a smoker here. Somebody could be a smoker. What's this? You left an impression on my heart, and your relationship was too damn complex. And they just got out of work. What is this spirit? Yeah, they want to collaborate now. They want to collaborate. Thank you. Somebody wants that teamwork. Capricorn energy. They want teamwork. They want to collaborate. Number three, like I said, somebody was put in a third party. And they didn't even know they was part of a third party the whole time. 
Look, it was just only for the passion. Look, this is a male phallus. Somebody only wanted to just link up with somebody for the pleasure. For the pleasure, maybe somebody wanted just to... Just, I'm here just to, you know what I'm trying to say, you too. I'm hearing somebody here also, if that is not the case, you're about to be offered. You're about to be offered um, some type of 15, 15 on the time. You're about to be offered some type of new job position. I'm also hearing, you're, yeah, somebody wants to collaborate with you because you inspire these people, this person, this, this place, this organization. They changed your mind. They changed, they changed your mind. Or you change these people's mind by coming into their company. You change their whole uh, dynamic situation. I'm also hearing this could be some like um, polyamorous or polygamy, something of that sort. And I'm hearing somebody here might be changing their mind and actually just want to be single. They don't even want to be a part of the um, thruple or something of that nature. Take what resonates. No judgment here. 1555. Um, I'm hearing somebody here has the willpower and desire. I'm also hearing someone focus only on the potential. Somebody only focused on the potential of a person. But now, now they see that you already had the potential. In the beginning, they didn't see that you had potential. They didn't see your potential, 1616. Now they see it with the hangman. They see that you, you're the diamond in the rough. You're the diamond in the rough. This person could be, still be in hermit mode or had to go into hermit mode and, ex and explore explore the the within they had to explore who they really are within they had to take a pause and now they're surrendering to the divine 12 reduces to a three what i say three of pentacles 12 reduces to a three which is about communication and creativity somebody is about to let you know you're very creative and we want you part of our team if this is not about love if this is about love somebody still wants you part of their team even if it is just you and them, but I feel like somebody about to offer you an opportunity to be a part of a thruple if that's what you're into. Take a resonance. But somebody here was definitely being used. They don't want, they don't, I'm hearing somebody gonna tell somebody that they don't want no strings attached. For others, um, 1717 17, reduced to an eight. I'm hearing August, about August 17th, somebody gonna get told that they were just using you. Or you were going to tell somebody you were just using somebody. Take what resonates. Or somebody about to tell somebody they was just using them and about to come back to you. I don't want any, I don't, I don't want no strings attached. I was just using you to make somebody else jealous. To make somebody else jealous. Or somebody was too jealous in a situation. So somebody had to say, I was just using you. Now they don't want no strings attached. But I really feel like this is, you know, because this is tarot. Um, you can read the cards, see the cards however you see them. So there's so many different um, different ways I can read these cards. But I'm definitely picking up my first instinct is that somebody was trying to make someone else jealous. And they actually did. 1808. So August, I'm here, I'm here on August 18th, between August 8th. August 18th, and I did say August 17th in the beginning. So I'm hearing somebody is going to get told that they were trying to make someone else jealous. And there are reasons why I feel like that. Look at this. They were making somebody jealous. They got somebody behind them, and then your jealousy is smothering me. Or this person that is behind them is jealous of this lady or male. So they decided somebody got jealousy in their heart or envy in their hearts, or hate in their heart, and they decide to say they don't want, they, I'm hearing, they don't want you, they don't want, they don't, they want you, but they don't want no strings attached, they don't want like, I'm hearing conditional love, they want that unconditional love, is what I'm hearing, somebody is now knowing what they want after all of this time, is what I just heard, they know they don't want no burden, I'm hearing that's what life is about, somebody had to go through life before they actually could deal with someone like you, that's why this person is insisting on um, trying to figure out how to come back to you with the please, please answer the phone. And I wrote you a text, but I couldn't send it. They don't know how to approach you. 1919, because you did a whole 360, 390 on this person. I mean, you didn't give them that energy that you were supposed to give them in the beginning because you felt this. This is what you had when you first met this person. You had seven of swords, king of pentacles, and fucking reverse. So why would you give this, why would you give somebody queen of pentacles in upright? 
if this person is king of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords you felt that energy was not the right time because this person was actually betraying you they were betraying you they were greedy they were um they were they were they were they had too much greed i'm hearing they were very stubborn they have, they were obsessed with wealth and status and they, they would they would do anything for it that's how they was acting towards you i mean this could have been a person that told you oh well you ain't gonna be nothing you ain't got nothing 12 12 i'm hearing 12 i mean you could have i mean around 12 o'clock 2012 through 2021 somebody got told that with this person you let them go in between 2012 and 2021 you let them go in between that i'm also hearing 2009 2010 this person actually was trying to burden you but i'm also hearing somebody knows now what they don't want so by you letting them go they learned what they don't want because they start they started receiving everything that you did i'm sorry excuse me who thank you spirit they started to receive everything they did to you and now they see they don't want burning situations they want a higher level of commitment. They don't want to be in competitive situations. They don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want competitive energy. They don't want people that they got to fight with, compete with, argue with. Yeah, they about to take a leap of faith to get up out this burden. They don't want this burden situation. They feel like dealing with this other person is just an extra responsibility, but dealing with you, it was it was more content. I'm hearing somebody says you make them feel at home. Look, you're the goddamn star. You're the goddamn star, and they want to return. Somebody's name could be star as well. I'm also hearing this person could have also found renewed hope and faith in their overall situation. Again, it don't have to be about love. It could be about um, job. It could be about family, friends, cat, your cat, your dog, whatever. You take a resonance. You take it how you see fit. I'm hearing somebody got renewed hope and faith. Somebody trying to be more calm in their situation. I'm also hearing someone's spirituality is renewing. Renewing. I'm not saying this is a good omen. This is a good omen. Whatever you pour in, you're going to get back. And somebody is realizing that. I can't be pouring in bullshit in my lady or my man and think they're not going to give me bullshit back. It just, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Look, King of Swords, Gemini, uh, Taurus energy. Somebody was always head over heart. They were a very disciplined individual, very truthful, honest. I'm here. Somebody here is about to receive that mental clarity. Because they thought they was um they thought they was dictating something, but really they were suffering. They were suffering. This relationship was suffering. They made the other person suffer. Because this person already had what they needed for this relationship. They didn't need nothing else. They just needed this person to be themselves. Or this is all divine timing. You know, this is how divine set it up. So this person can learn like this is my queen of pentacles or this is my king of pentacles, but he's in reverse or she's in reverse and vice versa where the queen of pentacles was in reverse. You take a resonance, but somebody here was this king is in reverse with the seven of swords. They was very messy and somebody like, damn, I can't be mad at you though. I can't be mad at you. They cannot. They don't know how to be mad at you because they're so in love with you. It's just they had to learn some things before they actually can get you. Take what resonates. That's for some. That's not for all. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. I needed time for healing. I need time to heal. Somebody is realizing that's what they're going through right now. They're going through a healing process. Yeah, they're, they're soul searching. They're going within. I'm hearing this person is going to come out more wise, like you, collective, um, more independent. They're going to be um, meditating. They're going to be more self-conscious. I mean, um, conscious about what they do and how they do it because they were playing games at first. They were playing fucking games with you. This is a game to me, the way I was acting, responding, or posting just to get your attention. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. Like I said, y'all, y'all listen to me now. Listen to me now. Y'all go ahead and book that personal reading. You, you will never regret it. You will never regret it. I promise you, 24-24, I just seen on my clock. Somebody here could be blocked. You could be blocked. They could be blocked. They could be physically blocked, literally blocked, energetically blocked. But you are their favorite person, though. Maybe that's why they can't reach you because you block them. 
You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. 2444. This, I'm here, the, this is the first time somebody ever felt like this. This was like a player. I keep saying, I don't want to be a player no more. I don't want to be a player no more. I keep hearing that. When I have news to share, you're my person. I'm here, but babe, you're my person. I can't be mad at you. Like somebody really, really love you. You're special. You're special. And also they think you're perfection. They think you're perfection. Your beauty amazes them. They're not sure how to attract in someone like you or how they even did it. But they are so fucking grateful. And they want to tell you that. They want to tell you they're so fucking grateful. There's something they really want to share with you. But they're waiting for the right times. And most of the time, they just be dreaming. And I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. Selena could be significant. I'll be holding you tight. Then there's no way in the world they'd rather be. Oh, 2555. Maybe they were jealous of you. And you like, how can my partner be jealous of me? We are partners. So take what resonates. But that's triple, triple confirmation that there was some jealousy going on. Whether that's on your end, their end, or somebody else in the circle. Mix could have been their friend, could have been their family member, could have been their mama. Is what I'm hearing. It could have been their father. It could have been somebody jealous of his connection and wanted to see it not progress. And they listen to this person or these people or or they stepped out of the relationship or they were the one themselves jealous of you. I'm very jealous. I can't bear to stand it. Somebody was jealous. Maybe they're jealous of the fact that they, they believe you're too fucking perfect. But I'm here. It's simple, really. Then now they see it could have been all so simple. <laughs> but how do I feel about you? I mean, you probably ask this person that a lot. How do you feel about me? How do you really feel about me? How do you really feel about me? And they couldn't answer that because they were too busy being in the seven of swords. Lying, cheating, stealing, deceiving you. They were deceiving you because you thought you had you a king of pentacles. Male or females. You thought, you thought you had a king of pentacles. Somebody upright king of pentacles is very wealthy. They're a business leader. They have security. They, I'm here. They are also protector. They take care of their home. They're very disciplined. I'm here also here. Very generous. This person was none of that. You knew what a king of pentacles was supposed to have, but that's not what they came with. They came with lying, cheating, stealing, betraying. They was being very uh, strategic, very trickery energy. They were, um, I'm hearing they were trying to be very sneaky. They were not being what you thought they were going to be. Like we have that. You don't see me as what, you know, I don't see you as what I thought you were. And like I said, you probably tell this person, I'd rather cut grass than be with you because you are not who I thought you were. This person was very greedy. They're very stubborn. They're very obsessed with wealth. Like they probably try to tarnish your name after y'all broke up. Like, yeah, that, that bitch or that nigga, he broke and she broke or whatever. But it could have been so simple. It could have been so simple. Hmm. <laughs> it could have all been so simple. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, opportunity. Opportunity. You got an opportunity here to possibly improve your health. Yes, improving your health is more important. I'm also hearing mental health is just as important as your physical health. Guys, specifically, all my kings, my emperors out there, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Oh, man, you're going to compromise eventually. You're going to have to compromise eventually, especially if you want this to work. I'm hearing somebody say, no, no, this is going to be a peaceful resolution. No, this is not going to be no violence, no arguing, no shouting. No, no, no shouting up in here. I'm hearing tone it down. <laughs> it could be somebody's child as well. Something is going on here. But somebody here wants a peaceful resolution. Somebody like, no, no. We're going to be peaceful. The situation will improve, darling. The situation is going to improve. If you don't think so, just keep believing. Just keep believing. Because somebody understands now. Like I've been saying this whole time. 29, 20 on my um, timer. I've been saying it the whole time. I see your side of the story. All I want is some understanding. 
They about to be coming. It's my confession. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe somebody about to have a baby or something. Look, unexpected, unexpected secrets and gossip. Something unexpected is about to happen that you're about to reveal somebody's secrets. Reveal somebody's secrets and it's and they don't think it's gossip. But only reason they think it's gossip because it's actual truth. I'm also hearing something somebody tried to do. It didn't go as planned. Maybe somebody tried to damage you, damage your spirit, and it didn't go as planned. It didn't go as planned. No, it didn't. Now this person is overwhelmed. This person is stressed. They're drained. They're drained because they they thought they was gonna do something. Um, I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing a habitual liar. Somebody made a mistake. I wish I could right my wrongs because we have unfinished ba business, baby. Look, baby. Hey, look, baby. We got unfinished business. Where you at? Where you at? We it, baby. We what? <laughs> but we still have things to resolve and discuss. Stop playing with me, man. Woman. <laughs> yeah, I love this energy for y'all. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm here. You're not broken. You're not broken. You ain't broken. This marriage is not broken. It's not broken. It's not broken. You guys just have differences. You guys have differences and you have to learn how to use your differences to make you stronger. That's basically it, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody feels shattered about the situation. They can't believe that this happened like this. They're like, oh my God, this was a goddamn empress or goddamn emperor the whole time, 3111. Or somebody is like really realizing like, damn, I'm the king of pentacles. I'm that dude. I'm that dude this whole time. And they didn't know. And you probably... My female energy or male energy or partner, whoever you are, um, you probably been telling this person, like, look, know your worth. Look, oh my God, thank you, spirit. Know your worth. Self-esteem. Somebody could be 31 years old. Know your worth. Know your worth. Know your worth. Somebody here could be incarcerated as well, or somebody here could be feeling, like, trapped in their head. So they do a lot of online dating. I'm not saying this person can have some type of social anxiety as well. So they do pretty much everything online. They don't go out. They don't go outside. They don't do anything in the public is what I'm hearing. In the public. Yeah, somebody, somebody was looking for friends and benefits, but they end up falling in love is what I just heard. They fell in love. What's this? Yeah, they fell in love. Look, they fell in love. Now they got too much on their plate and a whole family. All oh, they wish, look, secrets. Somebody could have had secret families and shit. 32, 22 on my timer. Somebody could have somebody could have been 32 years old and got a 22-year-old pregnant. And now they had some type of family with them. Take a resonance. They were just looking for friends or benefits. They wasn't even looking for no family. Wow. Yeah, somebody gaslighted somebody. Gaslighting. Somebody, because somebody has some type of sex addiction to divas. I'm also here. Somebody had a type. Somebody had a type. And God, the creator, was like, you got your person that you've been praying for right here, but you got a type, though. Oh, okay. Let, let me show you what, what that type do. Boom. They gave this person a baby. And now this type is eating their ass alive. That's what I just heard. Thank you, spirit. This person is an attention whore. This person is a narcissist that mentally abuses you or this is vice versa. They, they mentally abuse and they, they, they like to have sex or if you don't give it to them, they're going to watch porn right in front of you and get it off. You, Male and female, take what resonates. But somebody here feels backstabbed in a situation and unworthy. Yep, what I say? I don't want to be a player no more. Thank you, spirit. Somebody could have cheated on their wife, their husband, and got somebody pregnant or got pregnant. That's what I just heard. All right, then. <laughs> spirit, spirit, tell it. All right, so we're going to get some affirmations for this message. Look, new friends. New friends. Somebody's a good listener, and they have interesting things to say. Um, and they can relax and be themselves around other people. All right. We had, um, we actually had, oh shit. Excuse my language. This one fell from my, um, affirmations here. Um, but we got fairness here. Like I said, justice is upon you. You're about to receive some type of justice. Something about to be made fair and just for you in a situation. But we have fairness. Again, somebody can have dogs. 
I'm hearing I am fair in my judgment and treatment of others. I treat others as I wish to be treated. And then we had, um, we had another here on the floor. We had, I, I fantasized about you while in the bed with somebody else. I told you that 3444 I just saw on my timer. I told you someone here fantasizes about you while with someone else or vice versa. You are fantasizing about somebody else while you with somebody else. Take a resonate with somebody or these two people fantasizing about you. Why are you with somebody else? Ooh, spirit. Look at that. These two people fantasizing about you while you with somebody else. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. And this was inversed. This was inversed when I picked them up. I'm going off what spirit told me to do. This was inversed. So I'm hearing a year from now. I'm hearing the year is now. The year is now. Somebody is about to offer you to come into their group, job. <clears throat> or you about to get left, or they about to get left, or somebody about to get left. But either way, patience is required. 35, 35. Somebody could be at your 35. Patience, positivity, and calmness. I'm here. If not, if you do not remain calm, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Remain calm. Re remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. When somebody come ask you some stuff like this, hey, come join my triple if that's not what you're into. 35, 55. All right, patience, patience. I'm hearing you are a patient person who does not act rationally. You learn more about applying patience every day. Sometimes we lose it, and and that's okay. You you own it, own that shit, and then let that understand it. I'm hearing own that shit, understand that shit, let that shit go. It's like smoke that shit, roll that shit, smoke that shit, pass that shit type type of shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, <clears throat> but that's what I'm hearing. Positivity here. I'm good at what I do. I'm in control of my own success and happiness, as you should be. And then we have calmness. There's a great reserve of calmness inside of me. Today, I will bring tranquility into the world. Balance. You could be a Libra, but somebody is going to regret it if they don't remain calm. I accept my past regrets, and I'm a better person for it. I am moving forward and leaving my regrets behind me. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, baby. All right, can I get a true emotion on this situation? What's the true emotions? What's the true emotions on this situation? What is going on? What does my collective need to know? Double confirmations on the sex addiction. Somebody got showed having sex addiction, what it's going to come with. Something came with it, a baby, an STD. This one came with a psycho, a fucking psycho. Somebody dealing with a psycho, a crazy-ass ex. Somebody obsessed with them. They won't let them go. Now this person, what I fucking say? I fucking said, if you do not remain calm, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Massive regret. Massive regret. Somebody dealing with some type of cycle. They can't believe they had a child or dealt with this person or something. Maybe family with this person. 3737. Ooh. Thank you, spirit. You can't make this up if, if I wanted to, y'all. I'm telling you. Pregnancy, DNA, some type of fake news. Maybe somebody faked the pregnancy. Maybe someone faked DNA. Maybe someone faked um, birth certificate. Something here was actually fake news. It was not real. It was not real, guys. It was not real. Maybe it wasn't real love. Maybe it wasn't a real job opportunity. And somebody regretting that they dealt with this boss. Maybe they boss is a... Uh, sex addict, maybe somebody going to fire you if you don't have sex with them or something like that. Take a resonance. Look, backstabbed again. And we had that in our other one. And somebody fell backstabbed. Look, double confirmation. Can't make this up, y'all. Backstabbed, some type of pain from somebody cheating, being deceptive, playing mind games, love bombing. This fucking cycle is closing. I'm hearing somebody bit off more than they can chew. I heard that as well. Somebody could have got some type of reading on you as well. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, you fed up. You fed up. You, you're like, hey, I put my hands up with this situation. Because it's too many damn secrets for me. It's too many damn secrets for me. Look at that. It's too many secrets. Somebody haven't told you everything. It's something going on that you don't know about. And this is something, maybe this person, people send a love message behind your back and they deleting them and you don't know if you are the third party, but maybe this person is still stuck on this person. But somebody here, somebody in the mix is moving on or need to move on and let something go and love on you and be free. Take a resonate. Look, because all you're going to keep doing is going around and around in that stupid cycle, being triggered and learning lessons. You need to come on and get your reading. Come get your reading. Come get that love reading about the situation. 
Go ahead, it's gonna be in the description box. It's gonna be in the description box. It's gonna be in that description box, y'all. 39, 39 on my timer. All right, so we are going to get an angel prayer and we're gonna wrap it up. Look what I said in the beginning. Thank you, Spirit. You come on with it. Come on with it. Open your heart chakra. Like I said in the beginning, somebody's heart chakra was closed, so they behaved in a certain way. They could have changed now. Like I said, the year is now. Maybe this is all happening now that this person is realizing that they need to open their heart chakra. It been closed for so many years. Change and transition. This person is a phoenix rising. I'm hearing Scorpio energy. They 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 eat. They go through a lot of ego deaths as well. Um, take what resonates for you. But I'm hearing. Somebody here needs to open their heart chakra. We got Archangel Chamuel. Thank you, Chamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. And then we have change and transition, Archangel Ezreal. Thank you, Ezreal, for leading me safely through change. Leading you safely. Yes, you've changed or someone has changed. Take a resonance. I mean, you've changed hell of a lot. Now you're expressing yourself creatively. First, you were just openly expressing yourself and for you know for no reason because nobody didn't listen to you but i'm hearing now they listening to you spiritually abundant you're, you're going to be abundant for this you're going to be having a lot of abundance because you're living in your joy i'm also here by being spiritually abundant you get to live in your joy abundance is not always money and this is what you already knew is what i'm hearing collective this person didn't 4111 this person thought abundance means just money 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 yes she has her coin but look how happy she is you know, male or female, but in this picture, this woman is, is still happy. She's glowing. She looks peaceful. Look at this woman. She just looks free. Free. Like, abundance is joy, peace, happiness, financial securities, things of that nature. Yes, it is finances, but it's, that's not it. That's not the only thing. And you knew, collective, that you were spiritually abundant in, in the spiritual realm. So physically, you didn't, it didn't, like you stayed in your joy and people like, you broke as hell. How the hell are you still happy? But when you was with this person, it didn't matter because you're an old earth angel. It didn't matter to you. That money didn't matter to you. And that's all that person cared about. And now that they left you, that's all they think about. Like, damn, it was her. It was him this whole time. Take a resonance. Yep. Look, came back out again. Let's see what else we get. Yep, because you're a peaceful warrior. You're a peaceful warrior. You might you probably talk real low. You could be shy, but you listen. You listen to your inner voice a lot. Forty two, twenty two, and some people don't understand. Like, why is she saying this? Why he's saying this? Like, this is why. Why are they doing those things? Why even? Why they move the way they move? This is why. You listen. You listen to that inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. They guide you. Through, they guided you. They're guiding you through this transformation. Believe that. Believe that. Believe that. Thank you, Ezekiel, for supporting me to transformation from my past challenges. This ain't a coincidence that you've seen this. Synchronicity. Thank you, thank you angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. It's not a coincidence you've seen this. If this is not love, this is you balancing your light and dark and coming into one. Union. I'm here masculine and feminine energy. You're learning how to balance those. All right, now. Ooh. All right, I want to see... If we can get some physical features. I just said I was going to end, but spirits say physical features. We need to see some physical features. Physical features. I heard somebody say, when they supposed to happen? When they supposed to be closing a cycle? What? Okay. All right. Talking about when. <laughs> somebody could be a street um, street fashion. They like the way they, the way they wear their clothes. They could sag. Like, they, they dress comfortable is what I heard. Um, somebody could have a sharp face. Somebody could have dimples. Somebody has some type of scar. A very unique scar. Could be on their face. Could be on their back. They have a beard. You, know, you like to play in their beard. Or you used to like to play in their beard. Somebody has hazel eyes. Alright. Somebody got high cheekbones on the bottom of the deck. We got dark eyes. So someone can have dark eyes, high cheekbones, hazel eyes, a beard, hazel eyes, high cheekbones. Someone can have a beard. I'm hearing you like to play in their beard, or you did like to play in their beard. I'm also hearing somebody has always had like food in their beard. <laughs> they eat real good. I'm definitely hearing they eat real good. 
Um, I mean, they got a very healthy appetite. But a scar, somebody, somebody's name could be scar. Um, also, as well, this person could drink and they have dimples. Or this woman or man has some type of very unique scar. I'm also hearing somebody feels scarred because they fumbled you. They will. 44-44 on my timer. Um, yeah, someone could dress, you know, very uh, street fashion, I guess. Take what resonates for you in this situation. I love y'all. Go ahead and book that personal reading at Majestic. Quinn444 at gmail.com. I love y'all. I am your host, Majestic Quinn at 444. Love y'all. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my readings. Enjoy y'all day.